It's the sweetest show on television. Join us for an all-new VPT Cooks Maple Madness. Thank you guys for tuning in today. We're here with Ethan Ward and from, from Poultney, right? Correct. And what are we making? Because it looks like just fried delight. <laughs> well, I hope that's what it is. What we're making today are rosettes. They are traditionally a Scandinavian Christmas cookie. Okay. Uh, but and this I've, is Vermontized. This is Vermontized. I have uh, incorporated maple into their creation and uh, we can have some fun with this. I think so. I, mm -hmm. You know, as, as these have been sitting here, yeah. every, every person on camera has been walking by, and we're just all so excited to actually have fried food on the <laughs> set today. So mm -hmm. let, let's get started. What, how, okay. how do we make this? Because it's a pretty okay. simple recipe, right? It is a very simple recipe. The basic uh, ingredients are consist of nothing more uh, than eggs, milk, okay. and flour. Um, and this recipe is mm -hmm. in the, the, the maple cookbook for, for people mm -hmm. who are calling in. It's, mm -hmm. it's That's correct. Yeah. The, um, you have a basic um, ratio of one egg to a half a cup of flour okay. to a half a cup of milk. So, that's so we're easy starting egg. out mm -hmm, with just an egg and flour and uh, milk here. Um, mix that together. Um, and for, you know, mm -hmm. for, for people who, I mean, it's very similar to funnel cake, but these mm -hmm. rosettes, it, it's totally different. And these this, are a thinner recipe. It's than, a thinner recipe, mm -hmm. but what you do is you, I guess you press the mold into it and then it fries and then it just comes right off. Well, you, well, you, you kind of dip it as opposed to press it. Okay. Um, the egg and milk are together and... We'll add in a little all-purpose flour. A little all-purpose flour. Um, you try to keep a ratio of one part dry to one part liquid. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to mix this together to the point where you're fully incorporated. I'll do the spinning. Okay, <laughs> that's handy. Uh, I'm trying not to spin it too fast. I want a smooth, creamy. Uh, mixture. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, the um, thickness of, of pancake batter, like good well, pancake. Well, a little thinner than pancake batter, but that same idea. All right. And at this point here, where I've just got the three basic ingredients together, this is where you can really have fun. All right. Um, at this point, one can decide whether to make a sweet or savory rosette. And are we going to be making sweet or savory? We rosettes? are definitely going to be making sweet. Because it's the maple mm -hmm. show. That's so we've correct. we've got to have sweet today. That's correct. So now that they're made together, Ooh. now we're going to add in. Oh, I like maple, so I'm probably going to put in probably a good tablespoon. That's all right. Uh, it's the maple show. Quite so often, yeah. Quite often, you know, for seasonings, probably no more than a teaspoon or two. And do you of use whatever you use dark, is enough. Fancy, what do you like to use? This is I'm using B. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I definitely, like I say, I like maple. I want the, I want the flavor to. You want the flavor. I want the flavor to come through. Once that's all mixed up, we're basically ready to go. All right, and so we have like this, uh, this monster fried addy, which uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we've had many people in the sta yeah. mm -hmm. station already concerned about fire hazards uh -huh. galore, but yeah. we, we had to do it. Yeah. And you keep this oil, what, 300, this, 350? This is, uh, I'm keeping it around 325. Okay. Um, a lot of recipes that I've seen for this uh, do mention a, a, a temperature range of 350 to 365. The catch is, when you're dealing with rosettes, um, if the iron misbehaves in that it won't take the batter, or whatever, chances are your iron is too hot. See, I've just put it in there. Just to get it kind of just Just to get it up so and it going. So it gets oil and then that, that allows the batter to kind of come off. Well, not only that, but it kind of heats the okay. heats the iron up. And so you're not dipping the iron all the nope. way in there. You're just nope. dipping it on the... Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to the point of uh, up the sides, but not over the top. It smells like funnel cake galore in here. It yeah. smells so mm -hmm. wonderful. So you're Once just kind you of pushing that through? I'm just kind of pushing it through. Wow. And there you have it. 
They will probably fry about 30 seconds at a time or so. And you actually, this is an iron from when you were a kid, I right? grew, this is one of the irons I grew up with. Nice. They are, uh, like I say, with a, with a, with a uh, Scandinavian uh, Christmas cookie. Yeah. They have several geometric designs as well as holiday type designs. And so for, for anybody mm -hmm. out there looking to say, mm -hmm. make a financial investment, not only into VPT, but into mm -hmm. a rosette toolkit, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. where would you where would you go to find this? Online, maybe? Uh, a... This is one I grew up with. These I found on, at, on Amazon, actually. There's all kinds of different mm -hmm. shapes out mm -hmm. there. There are all kinds of different shapes out there. However, I never found one that uh, was in a maple leaf design, so I, I made that one. Wow. <laughs> uh, and it, uh, it, it serves the purpose. I think uh, so. Sometimes you can see this is a little bit hot. So how, how long do these take to cook kind of fully mm -hmm. until, until they dry out completely? Um, you want to leave them on the, on the iron, uh, in, in, on here, perhaps, you know, a few minutes anyway. Okay. If they go well, you can kind of, as you can see, kind wow. of set up a uh, kind of an assembly line process here. Yeah, just kind of keep turning just, them just and keep, rotating. Just keep going, turning and rotating. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take long to uh, make up a number of these. No, no, no. I mean, this, this yeah. seems like you could do it all the time. And for, mm -hmm. you know, for people at home without the, the big fried out of your device, mm -hmm. you know, just use a wide, uh, fairly deep skillet would work pretty well. Mm -hmm. That's what we do at our house. We yeah. do the fried food. So the irons themselves, you generally find them, they're either cast iron like this or uh -huh. aluminum. Okay. Um, there. Look at done. that. That one's done. Well, let's let that one dry off. and. Save. So you, you had done some ahead of time. Let's, mm -hmm. let's walk through these real quick. Okay. You've got some with chocolate, some with maple, mm -hmm. some with this white gooey stuff that okay. looks really yummy. What's, uh, what I'm showing here is... Um, what you can do with these rosettes once once they're made. Great. You can, uh, you know, imagination can run wild. You can see the ones that I have here that are glazed. I've, uh, they're basically the suits you would find in a deck of cards. Yeah. The hearts, uh, the spades, the mm -hmm. clubs, the diamonds. Yeah, I made those up for our duplicate bridge club down in Rutland one night, and nice. uh, they seem to go over pretty well. And so, I mean, with these that you have here, I mean, you've mm -hmm. got the maple cream, and this maple cream cheese is mm -hmm. uh, is actually in uh, the. It, it's mm -hmm. going to be at the festival. It's in the cookbook. It's kind yeah. of all over the place. You can find it online, but that's, it just looks delicious. Do that's, I? That's what you find here in these. Related to rosettes are uh, another style of. Uh, iron called uh, timbles. Okay. Where the rosettes are shapes, yep. the timbles are creating the actual shells. And that's what that's what these ended up making. Mm -hmm. That's yep. awesome. Yep. So people who are looking for like a little appetizer party and mm -hmm. maybe putting some quiche in here or some mm -hmm. roast pork, uh, I think this would fit really well. And these, mm -hmm. it, it seems easy, right? Yeah, they, well, you see it's, it. It seems easy. There you know, a little little garnishing mm -hmm. dust of like mm -hmm. a powdered sugar or a maple mm -hmm. sugar perhaps. That's the simplest, uh, the simplest way, uh, the simplest garnish, yes, is just uh, just adding in, just, just dusting with powdered sugar. That's perfect. And, uh, you know, again, you can, you know, as much or as little as you like. Excellent. Simple enough. And Do I get one? And there you have it. Do I get a fresh one? Do I get to eat that right away? <laughs> there you are. All Excellent. yours. All yours. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. <laughs> Mmm. I like fried food. Mmm. It's good. Well, not only that, is. but it's it's surprisingly really light just because it's got so much air in it. It's not mm -hmm. like, um, you know, a funnel cake like you think where it's really mm -hmm. heavy and really greasy. This is just nice and sweet and, you know, try it at home. Ethan, yeah, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you. We're going to send it back to the pledge okay. set for you guys. Those of you who haven't called in, we've already been getting some calls. Just go ahead, dial the 1-800 number, and, and, and thank you for coming out today and watching our show.